Since its inception in 2011, Global Banking and Finance Review Awards reflect the innovation, achievement, strategy, progressive and inspirational changes taking place within the global financial community. The awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. Today's award goes to GDMFX for Best Forex Customer Service Company, Asia Pacific, 2015. GDMFX is registered as a financial service provider to provide Forex trading on and offline to institutional and retail investors. Serving worldwide commerce as an online brokerage, GDMFX is expanding globally, extending its services across the continents and consequently enabling traders around the world to trade their various financial services. The financial securities offered by GDMFX include Forex, precious metals, energy and commodities. With more than 20 years combined experience in financial markets, GDMFX is committed to provide clients a satisfactory experience by providing efficient and professional customer service while offering competitive pricing that is only available at interbank level. Recently in London to receive our award, Kirill Senkov, Deputy Development Director, GDMFX, from Global Banking and Finance, Nolo Leary, and Jessica McManigan. So welcome to London. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. And congratulations on winning the award as well. It's uh, excellent. Yes, well, we're all very happy and very excited about that. And once again, I can only say thank you. OK, let's talk a bit more about GDMFX, if we may. First obvious question, what would you say distinguishes your organization from others, other traders within the Asia Pacific region? Well, I would always say that that's my favorite question. It's the uh, personal touch. Let me put it uh, like this. We do have a significant, very significant number of clients in the Asia Pacific region. Um, and we, are, we take great pride in, in saying that we know the story of every single one of our clients. And uh, every single one of our clients' accounts is uh, customized according to his needs or her needs. So by all means, we do take the time to understand what our traders need in order to feel um, comfortable. And this is one of the major things that sets us apart. Um, I should definitely say that uh, when the company was first founded, and not so long ago, it was founded by young traders, uh, young like myself, people who knew what they didn't like, what they liked in the brokerages they worked with, um, people who had a lot of connections with trading groups around the globe and mostly in Asia. And uh, as you might imagine in the uh, beginning, in the f those first days, the company had to start with a very high standard because it started with uh, experienced traders, people who are um, not afraid to call you and to, and to voice their concern, to say, I am not, I'm not happy with this, I want an explanation now or I want a change now. And we just uh, we sort of continued in, in that mode ever since. And it's worked well for you, obviously. Oh yes, by all means. We are quite happy that our clients are happy and we are quite happy that we are um, not a faceless organization. I mean, our clients can always call us. They are invited to do so. They, uh, they actually do it all the time. They can always call us. They can always ask any question and we're there to help and to, to customize. Why not? I was going to take that a stage further, if I may. Uh, how do you actually go about ensuring support for your, your customers? Obviously, it's a very competitive market. So, so what do you do to go the extra mile, as it were? Well, that's, uh, that's where the uh, magic happens. As I said, a company founded by traders, for traders, every single one of our um, employees actually does or has traded at some point. Um, they know what Forex is. And as I, as I just said, they know what they liked about a brokerage or what they didn't like about the brokerage. So we are very, very selective in our customer support agents. We don't uh, have a junior guy and a, and a senior guy like most companies do. All of our guys are um, extremely experienced and all of our guys can solve any problem, being it a small one or, or being it something extremely um, complex, um, I should say. This is one way that we um, ensure great support because it's not only your uh, average brand new beginner trader that would ask for support. Maybe you would get a, uh, a partner, major partner, let's say an introducing broker who has quite the know-how, who would ask a, a very specific thing to be resolved uh, sometimes very frequently in a short time frame. So in order to ensure that, we need to make sure that the, the guy who's on watch this day is perfectly qualified to do so. And this is where we invest the most. 
Okay, so you certainly have to look at flexibility. Let's look at the foreign exchange markets, if we may, because I think uh, that there's been quite a few changes there over the years. How would you say that the foreign exchange market has changed? Well, it is, uh, it is changing dramatically. It is um, the kind of a market that never sleeps. And uh, as, I, as I like to say, and as we all experience every now and then, it's always capable of shocking people. Let's uh, take a look at the Swiss franc, for example. The industry itself, the forex market industry, has uh, developed tremendously over the years. It is the fastest growing and fastest developing industry in the world, I should say. Um, most notably, the trading costs have been reduced dramatically. And all those trading limitations like, for example, um, margin requirements or, uh, let's say, leverage uh, limits in terms of maximal allowed leverage, those are things that are pushed all the time. Now we have uh, higher limits than, than we've ever had before, lower uh, minimal deposit requirements than we've ever had before. It is uh, an industry that is getting more and more flexible. For example, a decade or so ago, you would, you would have to use one, maybe two means of depositing funds into your account. Right now, there are dozens of them and new popping up every day. It's, it's easier than buying a tube ticket, I, I would say. Uh, and this is one of the things that's, that's changed, that's developed uh, a lot over the past years. I do not, I cannot say that I agree with, with it 100%, for example, the, the reduction of trading costs. I don't think that's the most important thing. And um, if I may, let, let me tell you a story. Uh, myself and our uh, chief account executive, we were um, just visiting France yesterday, Paris. And on the airport, on uh, Charles de Gaulle, on the way back, we, uh, we were trying to check in. And I, I don't see the, the check-in, uh, the, the nice check-in girls. And I'm asking, uh, my colleague, Martin, what, what are we supposed to do now? Because uh, as you know, I'm uh, originally from Bulgaria and we're used to uh, the human touch <laughs> there. Uh, th he says, you're supposed to use this machine. It's self-checking. You go there and you use the machine. But the thought that came through my mind at, at that point in time was, okay, maybe very soon they'll ask me to fly myself. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you, you know, it's logical, you do realize that in order to drive costs down, they've had to adjust a few things to be more cost effective. But at the end of the day, most of us, or some of us, I should say, prefer a um, professional to, mm -hmm. to help them. So it's not only about lower costs, it's also about the percentage. Yes. And the danger is that technology, as much as it changed, it's changed the Forex market, it actually, in a way, is almost remote as well. You're dealing with uh, real people can actually be a plus factor. Yes, exactly, by all means. I mean, nowadays the, the uh, infrastructure of a Forex broker is so interactive that the client can practically do anything um, online by himself or by herself, which is a great thing. But every now and then you, you would get in a situation where you actually do need a professional's help. You do need someone to, to help you sort, uh, sort out the situation. And um, what happens if you don't know who to call? Mm -hmm. I don't think this, this makes a trader feel comfortable. I do not think a trader will be happy in a situation like this. I think he or she will get frustrated. And when you draw the line, you know, the, the bottom line is if a trader decides to leave a brokerage because he or she is not happy, low trading costs are, are not really part of, of the consideration at that stage. Understood. Looking at traders themselves, what would you say the opportunities were for them in the Asia-Pacific region? Uh, what sort of uh, chances and uh, interesting possibilities do they uh, have now? The opportunities are, uh, as always, you know, um, um, countless and amazing, uh, not even going to, to, to touch the market at this stage. What I would just say is that unlike um, very mature markets like uh, London, for, for example, the oldest financial market in the world, uh, in the Asia-Pacific region, you don't have the, the overcompetition. You, you don't have so many traders. You have a lot of very talented people. Some of our best traders, I should say the best traders that we have with our company are from the Asia region. Um, those people are very talented and they have a huge potential and they're just starting. I mean, they, they're just opening the door to the uh, opportunities that the Forex market presents. Uh, and at this stage, I do feel that the partnership, different partnership opportunities, uh, for example, introducing brokers, money managers, um, all the opportunities that social trading now provides, uh, those are the areas without, where I would look right now for a booming development in the Asia region uh, because there's so many people who are just opening up to this to this market and as we know in the forex industry uh, most of the new traders reach a brokerage through uh, an introducing broker so by all means this is where the opportunity lies in the in the 
uh, Asia Pacific region right now. So lots of opportunities, but always of course lots of danger. What are the pitfalls that some traders fall into and they should be aware of? Uh, well, and, and we get to that question. Now, at this stage, I would repeat the golden rule, which is uh, don't cut your profits and run your losses. Uh, sadly, um, it, it's been quite a uh, while since this, this rule has been repeated and repeated over and over again. But um, people still do hit their margin call or they do hit their um, stop out level due to overexposure and improper uh, risk management. Uh, and it's uh, I'm not I'm not sure if I should be saying, but it's not rocket science to, to manage your exposure. There, there are quite a lot of tutorials online that one can turn to in order to see how not to overbuy or oversell in a, in a position and uh, obviously do something that would cost his or her entire um, account. Now, there are uh, newer things to, to be careful about. For example, automated trading, um, social trading. Uh, people tend to get overexcited Recently, it became popular to buy uh, an expert advisor, uh, trading software, um, just like that. B buy it off, off the internet, buy it online and, and start using it. Um, and I've heard quite, um, quite large amounts asked for, for such uh, software. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, this, this is something which you don't understand how it works because the mechanics of it uh, are locked inside. You don't know how this works. And you know, there is a a very major rule that if you don't understand how something works, you, you shouldn't really mess with it. You shouldn't uh, put your money on it. So my advice at this stage would be to be very selective, very careful if you would, uh, if you are planning to entrust your money or uh, on a money manager or on a signal provider via social trading, or um, if you're considering to buy an expert advisor, make sure you understand how that works and why that works and if it makes sense to you if it seems uh, logical to you uh, then you know you can trust your um, your intelligence to do the right thing it, it's excellent because you've pointed out one or two of the dangers and one or two suggestions there I, I was going to come on to to training itself how important is it do you think for traders to get training and education in, in this particular uh, business that we're talking about oh it's paramount uh, and let me tell you why Basically, it's an ever-changing market, and as I just said, it never ceases to, to be able to shock us. We, we do have uh, a saying in GDMFX, it normally takes six months for something dramatic to happen that no one is, is expecting, once every six months. Uh, of course, that's, you know, that's not um, scientific, it's, it's just a saying. Um, but the bottom line is we never should stop uh, learning and developing ourselves. We live in an age where a new technology is discovered daily and introduced to the market daily. So we should always uh, be open-minded and we should never get too comfortable with, with what we think we know uh, because that's, that's when a huge loss hits you. Normally when you get overconfident, you get overexposed or uh, you, know, you trust too much, you get, uh, uh, you get too trusty uh, and you decide to put all your money on a, on a service provider which you don't understand. Now. Please don't misunderstand me, some of uh, the best results I have seen uh, are coming from a, a publicly available trading software. Amazing results. Some of the um, best results I've seen in, in manual trading come from uh, money managers, professionals. Um, but that doesn't mean that every single one is, is as good. Some are, are extremely good, some are not so good. And nowadays, it's, it's very easy to go online and to present yourself as a very successful uh, money manager, for example, uh, or a very successful trading software uh, producer. So people should be careful. Uh, they need to make sure that they found the right thing. Look for um, reviews, if you look, look for feedback. We, um, one of the reasons why we are so interested in, in having the best possible customer support is that, uh, as you know, there is a um, a rule, a golden rule, I should say, rule of thumb in marketing, that a referral from a live person costs more than a thousand advertisements. Mm -hmm. uh, so look for that, look for the feedback of people who are already using that, um, just as we look for the feedback of our traders in order to constantly improve. What do you do as an organization, GDMFX? Do you actually do any training yourself? Uh, do you assist with that? Yes, we do. Actually, every person, as I said, that comes to us is different. And, and we strive to understand his needs, we need to make sure that that person is going to be comfortable 
with us because uh, with comfort he can focus on uh, on what matters to him or her and that's trading itself um, for example when we see someone who is a beginner quite a beginner at, at forex trading we could arrange a one-on-one -on -one session with one of our analysts uh, especially if, if the person voices concern about a specific aspect of trading he or she doesn't understand then yes we can uh, help with that uh, we also host um, twice a week trading webinars with our um, analysts our market analysts we do listen to the feedback quite extensively that we always introduce new topics or change the existing topics we need to make sure that we're offering in terms of information what the customers need at this stage what what they want what they need um, in order to be comfortable on the market uh, and of course we do provide uh, our uh, quite famous Hermes Academy uh, which is an online uh, education tool aimed at uh, beginning traders um, for it's a resource they can use in their own time because as, as you know talking with someone for a couple of hours on the phone is, is not always convenient mm -hmm. but yes there are quite a lot of different um, tools we have and we're constantly searching for new ways to help our uh, traders get uh, or master the market well that, that, that's excellent uh, a lot of technical services there you were referring to. What, what kind of exciting new services and products are you likely to be introducing in, in future months, would you say? Well, I would definitely say that this is going to be a very exciting year for uh, GDMFX and all of our uh, traders and partners. We are working on a um, huge number of new and exciting things, ranging from offering new trading instruments, offering new asset classes to be traded, to offering new platforms um, especially interesting for um, our partners like uh, social trading platforms, money manager platforms and so on and so forth. But at this stage I would like to preserve part of the, the surprise. Uh, I will just answer your question by saying that this is going to be a very exciting year for our traders and partners indeed. Well, I look forward to hearing more about that. I hope you'll tell us about it once it's actually uh, become public knowledge. In the meantime, thank you so much for coming to uh, quite a sunny London, unusually. And uh, congratulations once again on the awards and thank you for talking to us today. Thank you and thanks for having me. It's, yeah, it is an excellent day to be <laughs> in London. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.